What's good, my people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Darius Person. If you are new, I hope my smile welcomes you with. This is part two of my latest video titled, I'm over social media. Not that I'm tired of it, but I have control over it. I'm over social media. I pray this video inspires you to be over social media as well. There's a verse that's been in my heart. Psalm 34, 14 says, turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. What is it? Peace. It's not easy to maintain peace in this noisy world, in our noisy lives. When we are stressed out or our souls are not at ease, there's a temptation to search for peace in the wrong places. There can be social media. We can try to distract ourselves and search for peace in places that has distractions. I know for myself, when my spirit is not fed, I can try to ignore that and distract myself even from that by engaging in things that's not gonna help. We can try to distract ourselves from God all we want, but in reality, God is like, come on, come on and get this piece, you know where it's at. I know where it is for me, but the hard part is getting there and being present there. But every time I leave, I have peace. God never disappoints. I can disappoint myself by not getting there, not getting up and getting there. Yes, I have to get up early in the morning to get there. I used to use an excuse to say to myself, I'm not a morning person. But newsflash, nobody is a morning person. People that are morning people have worked there and they have worked to get there. They have taken advantage of opportunities to become morning people. Getting up in the morning to spend time with the Lord is all throughout scripture. It is biblical, it's biblical. Genesis 22 verse three. The next morning, Abraham got up early. You see that? He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him, along with the son Isaac. Then he chopped wood for a fire for a burnt offering and set out for the place God had told him about. Where is that place God has told you to meet him at? Where is that place? Psalm 5.3. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning, I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. We see an example from Jesus, Mark 135. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. It's many more scriptures, I can keep going. But nobody was texting or emailing Jesus early in the morning. More than likely, no one is to you as well. We have to get to God before the noise gets to us. And though you receive peace, you have to maintain it. As David said, we, we have to maintain it. I left my quiet time recently, and as soon as I walked outside, there was a dog barking at me, like looking vicious, like ready to attack. You know how us Christians are. Uh-oh, there go the devil in the form of a four-legged animal. There he go, look at him. Nope, I had to maintain my peace and stay positive and not give the devil a foothold. I said to myself, this dog is just looking for his bait. And he's hyped up from watching Cujo last night, that's all. He was barking at me, but what he was really saying was is that, hey man, have you seen my bait? She furry, she got some, some pointy ears, they're like a four inch tail. I'd be mad too if I can find my bait. People would try to come for your peace. I left my quiet time one morning, as I was driving, this lady stopped at an intersection. I stopped after she did, which means that she should have went first, but she just stayed there looking at me all mean, honking her horn, telling me, come out, come out, come out. You know how us Christians are. Oh, they go the devil in the form of a woman in the Dodge Stratus. I had to be positive. I had to maintain my peace that I worked for and got up for. She not mad at me. She just mad that somebody messed up her McDonald's order. She ordered a McGriddle and they gave her some pancake bread without no meat. Y'all, if we want to stay sane, we have to maintain. Man, but as the year comes to a close, let's enter the new year with momentum from already establishing that habit of spending time with the Lord. 
maintaining that peace, getting up and going after that peace and spending time with the Prince of Peace. Let's not try to distract ourselves from the source of peace, but engage the source of peace.